Hi guys, how are you doing? Barrington Thompson here from the Barrington Thompson Foundation. So, I was on social media today, um, on Facebook really, scrolling through and I saw these messages about um, Facebook taking over WhatsApp. And I went to WhatsApp and I, one of my friends messaged me to say that um, um, here's a video of um, Facebook about to take over WhatsApp and there's no more privacy, there's no more secrecy. Um, I comment on one of the media house Facebook page because I follow the media houses. Um, Observer, Gleena, um, Star, um, Loop Scoop. I follow them all, right? So, and I made a comment on Loop that I, I don't see what the big problem is about. There was no privacy in the first place, and this guy was saying that I'm a fool. But come to think of it, there is nothing to worry about really because there was actually no privacy in the first place. So once you sign up on Facebook, there is no privacy. All right? Once you sign up for WhatsApp, there's nothing called privacy. Nothing is private. Once your phone number and your email address is linked in the system in the fine print, you know, if you if you notice, for example, notice for example, digital, digital is sending me all these messages from courts and all these places from all over the place. All right, did I give digital the permission to? send me all of these messages advertising advertising for for, the, for various companies no i didn't but maybe i sent it off in the fine print that i'm giving them the right to do whatever they want to do all right so when i signed up for yahoo to have an email address yahoo is sending me every day they're sending me advertisement from various companies all over the place did I give them permission to send me all these advertisements? No, but maybe when I signed up to say I agree, maybe I agreed to for them to use my my, my information whatever in whichever way they want to. All right, so the same thing is I, I don't see the difference in having Facebook and WhatsApp link because they were already using your information. They are now just going to ask you for the permission to use it so that it is legal. So if you want to take them to court, they have legal ground to say, look, you signed off like you agree here, right here, right? Maybe the print is too fine and maybe it's too complex because these guys get good lawyers to, um, to, to, to draft these documents. So when you read it, it doesn't really say what you think it is saying, but it is saying what they want you they want to say in a way in which you do not know that it is what they want to say to you and you think it's something different and you say okay i agree so there was no privacy in the first place and all the pictures you have taken on, on on whatsapp they can be retrieved from somewhere else all right they just can go into your phone right now and bring up messages that you posted um maybe from last year because it is on their database but you're not seeing it anymore. You have deleted it. But it is, uh, it is uh, right, for example, it's the same way they use the information on Vibes Cartel. All right? Yes. All right? Because he sent a message. And even though it, did, it was deleted from his phone, they were able to get it from Digicel anyway. So this big news about um, WhatsApp and Facebook merging and there's no more privacy, there wasn't any privacy in the first place all right so there's nothing to be afraid of just use the internet to share information to socialize and just to have fun and um don't do anything foolish right just be responsible so just in case something pop up somewhere you're not surprised okay